Hello, Simone here with your lunar mood and energy forecast for the week ahead. So this week, aside from it being a new moon week and the start of a new lunar cycle, we do still have Mars retrograde in Aries as well as Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, which really means that the astro energy, the astro weather continues to be quite intense emotionally and mentally. Uh, to kick off our week, uh, we have the waning crescent moon in the sign of outgoing and creative Leo. And this energy is a little bit of a juxtaposition with the waning moon phase being one that encourages us to slow right down, to finalize our projects, to rest and restore and to nurture and all that good stuff. But the big, playful and sunny Leo energy is one that might lead you to wanting to put yourself out there and to be seen in the world. So one way to strike a balance between these two vibes is to really focus on ways to cultivate your creativity um, by pampering yourself in the right kind of way that really makes you feel like a queen, like the royal energy that is Leo, and to express your self-love. So you might also really enjoy spending some time in the sun uh, to enjoy its warmth and to embrace the fiery Leo energy in that way as well. You could use the oil blend cheer to also harness the Leo energies. Uh, it's a really beautiful, uplifting, sunshiny blend. So on Tuesday, we have a long void of course moon before it does transit into a Virgo moon on Tuesday afternoon. So Virgo is detail oriented and, and this means it's a good time to do tasks that really require our focused attention um, or which really need you to analyze information. Be mindful of seeing the details and not looking out at the bigger picture of things and to be making decisions um, which do require you to have bigger picture thinking. And also don't try to overdo things because Virgo does have workaholic tendencies that can, um, you know, can come about when the moon is in this sign. Um, in this waning phase, it is best to take it easy, to slow right down. Um, you know, Virgo loves routines, so stick to these, but don't forget to have some fun as well. And the essential oil is Lang Lang. It's really a beautiful blend to help bring about um, feelings of playfulness. So diffuse that if you want to inject some fun into your day. On Thursday and Friday, the dark moon will be in harmonious Libra. Now, the dark moon is a time to, to rest and to contemplate uh, the lessons that we have learned over the past lunar cycle. So be careful not to focus too much on imperfections in your relationships or to be too judgmental. Um, these are feelings that could be highlighted with the Libra influence at this time. Now, if you are feeling some of these things, then you might like to work with the essential oil bergamot to help with um, supporting you. And during the dark moon phase, it is best to relax, um, to, to go inward in preparation for the new moon. Contemplate on what is important for you to maintain balance in all areas of your life and especially in your relationships so that you can prepare your new moon intentions to connect with yourself and to really reset. And this is a good time to do things like um, yin yoga or restorative yoga, uh, to take a little sneaky nap in the afternoon and just to relax. And the Balance Essential Oil Blend is great to use um, on a Libra moon to really harness those Libra energies. Uh, at 5.31 a.m. on Saturday is the new moon in Libra and with the sun joining the moon in this diplomatic and harmonious sign. So with its emphasis on balance, communications, relationships, um, this Libra moon is really a good time to look at how you communicate in your relationships. You might find that emotions are running high in your relationships with those that you're close with um, as you're striving to try and find this, this equilibrium and keep this equilibrium happening um, in your relationship. So be sure to practice gratitude, be compassionate with both yourself and with others. Um, definitely spend some time on your own in a place that's really beautiful if that's possible, one that evokes feelings of peace and feelings of calm. Roll some peace blend all over your temples, behind your ears, on your wrists, um, and get out your journal and contemplate what it is that you really want to get from your relationships and to analyze also the relationship with yourself and, and this really is the ultimate partnership. Don't forget to do your new moon mapping in your My Unstoppable Life journal. Um, I've got a great little section in here where it maps it all, where you can map out your intentions. Um, I like to use this little page here to do a little tarot spread um, and then use that to kind of guide me to, to map out my intentions for the, the lunar cycle ahead. And just take some time to plant the seeds for any new plans that you want to create and that you want to manifest in the next lunar cycle. 
uh, take some time for your self-care, to beautify your home, and just to see the beauty in yourself and others. You might like to try this diffuser blend. Um, it is bergamot. That will help to boost your self-esteem. Wild orange. That's going to help to evoke positive feelings. And the anchor blend, which comes from the yoga collection, that's going to encourage stability and growth. On Sunday, the waxing crescent moon will shift into deep and transformative Scorpio. Now, this is a time when your intuition might really be heightened. Um, a Scorpio moon is a good time to do things like researching or to do things that require deeper thought rather than just superficial thinking. So try to make connections with people who you truly want to spend time with and really who do ignite feelings of passion in you. Uh, the moon will be joining Mercury, which is currently retrograde in Scorpio also. So be prepared for intimate, intense and uncomfortable conversations and for some truths to bubble to the surface. And using the uh, essential oil blend Forgive is going to help you to let go of any hurt or any pain that might come out at this time. So that's my forecast for the week ahead. I hope that you have a beautiful week. I hope that you have a really great new moon uh, and I will be back again next week. Bye for now.